Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video, I am going to show you how to configure all of your applications for different purpose, privacy, security, and to improve your productivity on your Huawei Mate 10, Mate 10 Pro smartphone. So let's start it. And now if you go to the settings and if you go to apps and notification, lots of options are available for you here. First of all, if you go to the apps, here you will find the list of all application. If you tap on settings, here you will get few more options. The first one is app permission. If you go here, you can see that which all applications got access to a particular kind of service or sensor. For example, you can see that out of 17, two applications are allowed to use the camera. That's messaging and camera you can manually turn on for example if you want gallery to access the camera you can just switch it on or if you are finding that there is an app that does not need camera but still the permission is given you can just turn it off from here so this is a very nice feature for the privacy and safety same goes with the microphone you can see that google messaging recorder camera are using my microphone if you do not want google to use your microphone you can just turn it off so this is how you can adjust the adjust the app permission settings then if you go to the app links here you will find one interesting option what it does exactly that it lets you select the links and urls from a particular application so for example if you go to the booking.com application and tap on supported links here it will show you lots of options like securebooking.com booking.com so it is showing that which all links the application will open if there is any link in that same goes with the contacts contacts is integrated with linkedin so the option is available for the linkedin and here you can see lots of options are there for example maps is going to mappy.google.pl so this is a very nice thing and you can turn it off totally as well and then there is notification assistant if you go here you can see whether any notification assistant is activated or not right now there is nothing and if you go to advanced in special access this is where you will find lots and lots of interesting options so the first one is ignore battery optimization here you can see that all of these applications they are allowed if you just tap on camera you will see two options don't allow and allow if you select don't allow then it will improve your battery life and if you select allow that means it will ignore battery optimization for this particular application so it will drain the battery exactly so you can see that all of these applications are allowed you can just select any of these to improve the battery performance and then there is device administrator that can remotely wipe your device and perform all kind of a stuff from the internet remotely so you can see that files and find my device applications they got the access right now and then there's dnd you can select for which application you would like to enable it draw over other apps if you use messenger or some kind of application you can see that sometimes a pop-up appears on the corner of the screen like do you recorder messenger so these applications can draw over other apps if you go here you can see that a huge list of applications is provided you can just provide the access or disable it and then there is write system settings which all applications are the capable of writing to your system so for security reason if you find any application that should not be here you can just go there and tap on the slider to disable the access to the system of your huawei mate 10 mate 10 pro or any of the uh, huawei smartphone running on emotion ui and then there is picture in picture that let you watch a video on the corner of the screen while doing some other tasks there is notification access provided to android system huawei home true caller right now all of them are disabled you can enable it and uh, one nice feature is premium sms access so you can select which all applications got the premium sms access because sometimes few applications got this feature that will consume your money if you just use it so it's better to have an eye on this and then unrestricted data access you can see that all of these applications are there and uh, google play service got unrestricted data access so if you want to give this priority to any other application you can just 
tap on this slider and you can activate it. It's totally up to you. And even you can give this permission to system process and applications as well. And then the last one is usage access. You can see that all these applications got access for the usage. If you go here, you can get more information that usage access allows an app to track what other applications you are using and how often. So depending on your requirement, you can just select or reject it. So these are some very nice and interesting features for configuration of your applications on Huawei Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro or any of the Huawei or Honor smartphone running on the Emotion UI. And then when you go back from here to notification management, here you will find the list of applications that are allowed for the notification. For example, if I go to Asphalt Nitro here, you can see that what kind of notification it can send to my Huawei Mate 10. So display in the status bars, banners, ringtone vibrate badges so all kind of notification it can send to the screen of my Huawei Mate 10 so if you do not want to get any notification from a particular application then you can just go to this list and tap on that particular application and then you can just tap on the slider to allow or reject the notification access so you can see now the dragon mania this game this application cannot send me any notification of any kind so this is also a very useful feature. You can see that all of these applications are showing in this list here. And if you tap on this tiny three dots here, you will see two options, lock screen notification. If you go here, you will get the option whether you would like to get notification on the lock screen, hide or display all. It's the same that you get while setting up your fingerprint or pin password security. And then there is another option called badges that we have already seen whether you would like to see the badge mode for the notification or the unread uh, notification, unchecked notification count. And then there is permission. If you go here, once again, you will see the same options that which all applications can access a particular type of service or hardware. And then there is default apps. So you can select which all applications you would like to use as default for a particular task. For example, call, obviously we got dialer, but there is true caller as well that comes with a dialer and you can use it for making calls. Same goes with the music as well. You got Google Play Music and Huawei Music. So you can select any of these two as the default and whenever you will use the music application, that particular application will be used to uh, play songs and all. Then there is App Twin. You can use Facebook and Facebook Messenger in App Twin to log in into two different accounts at the very same time. So if you got two Facebook accounts, two Messenger account, then you can just tap on this slider and then you will get two Facebook on your device. You can see that you got two Facebook, one Facebook here, one here. You can do the same with Messenger as well. Twin app created. Now let's go to the app drawer. And you will find that there will be two messengers so this is a very useful feature that let you use two user accounts at the same time so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and answer new videos like this i'll see you guys next time in another video have a nice day